Good morning and welcome. My name is Tim. Thanks for liking my videos and subscribing to my channel. Today's another update video on the new courtyard video villas being built here in the northern part of the villages. They are located in a new community called Villa Marbella. Here in the village of Hacienda, I will show you an update of these new homes. Stay tuned, friends. Those new courtyard villas are located off to the right. There is a sneak peek. I will soon turn into the Cordoba Postal and Recreation Center and I will walk in the back of these homes and show you what they look like. Stay tuned, friends. Here I am at the Cordoba Postal and Recreation Center, which is adjacent to these new courtyard villas. And today is Thursday. I am providing you an update of these courtyard villas. If you're new to the channel, thank you for subscribing and liking. My name is Tim. I do villages content. And today is an update on these courtyard villas. Last week I did an update video. And I informed you that the neighborhood has a new name. It is now the Villa Marbella neighborhood located here right off of Morse Boulevard. And to give you a little background, if you're new to the channel, these homes were recently built. They are tilt wall construction. They are concrete walls. And they are built on the former site of the Hacienda Hills Country Club that the developer demolished a couple of years ago and started building these brand new courtyard villa homes. I did speak to a village's sales agent today to get the most recent update on these courtyard villas. I'm going to walk around to the side here. And uh, the sales agent informed me that she thought these homes would be up for sale at the end of November. That was the time frame she gave me. She thought maybe the week after Thanksgiving or the week after that is when she thought. My last update video, you see the end home there. My last update video, they were replacing the roof on that home. They originally put the roof on the home and then and then they took the roof off and, and replaced it. I'm not sure why. I will walk around on Morse Boulevard and show you the Marbella entrance. That is a golf cart tunnel underneath Morse Boulevard. Stay tuned, friends. Here's a better look at that home. They replaced the roof last week on not sure why they tore the roof off and put a new one on. Maybe it did not meet their quality standards. Here I am walking along Morse Boulevard. And here I am on the corner of Marbella Lane and Morse Boulevard. This will be the main entrance to these new villas, the Mar Villa Marbella neighborhood. And you can see that they are, they are putting finishing touches on these homes. There's a lot fewer contractors here working on these homes. The sales agent did, did think there will be a bond. So she thinks there will be a bond on these homes. The bond is what will pay for the infrastructure put these roads in, the sewers in. At one point there was debate whether there would be a bond on these homes or not, but she did feel that there will be a bond. 
She does not yet know the maintenance assessment fees for these homes. She indicated to me, the sales agent indicated to me that she won't know that information until the day before they decide to put these homes on the market. So the sales individuals do not have a lot of notification before the homes go on the market. What the bond is, what the maintenance assessment fees will be. She said that uh, there is a lottery type system for these homes. And she was indicating to me regarding the pricing of these homes, she thought that the Winslow model homes that have a golf course view would be somewhere in that mid $500,000 range. That does not include the bond. She feels that the Durham model homes, they're a little smaller, two bedroom, two bathroom, they'll be in that mid $300,000 range. And the Charlotte models, they're a little bit larger home, they're mid-sized homes, they will be in that $390,000 range. Thank you for liking and thank you for subscribing. I do appreciate it. Let me know in the comments below if you're interested in one of these new homes. These are tilt wall construction. Courtyard villas here in the villages, Florida. Here I am at the back of these courtyard villas. And I just wanted to show you, uh, give you a little bit of an update. Basically, I wanna recap the update. I have many update videos of these courtyard villas. The last update video I did reveal the new name of this neighborhood. The new name is going to be Villa Marbella. It is located right off of Morse Boulevard. There have been rum rumors that there was going to be no bond on these homes. But I think that rumor has been dispelled. I think there is going to be a bond on these homes now. The bond is what pays for the infrastructure of these homes. The realtor that I spoke to today did not know when or what the maintenance assessment fees on these homes will be. She indicated to me that she will not know until the day before these homes go on the market for sale. You can see there, there's somebody in there working on drywall or doing some interior work on this home. She felt that these homes would be on the market for sale at the end of November. She did not have a date. She thought the week after Thanksgiving would be when these homes will go on the market. But you do need to work with a village's sales agent and they will notify you when these homes will go on the market. She gave me some approximate price ranges for these homes. She feels that the Winslow model home that's facing the golf course will be in that $550,000 price range. She thought the Durham model, that's a little smaller courtyard villa, that's a two bedroom, two bathroom. She felt those would be in the $340,000 range. These are without the bond, friends. She thought the Charlotte model home would be in the $390,000 range. She feels that these homes will be, will be priced similarly to the homes in the south, in the southern part of the villages. So if you're interested in a Charlotte model on a golf course view, or without a golf course view, just find one of those homes in the south Look at what the list price is, and these homes will be priced similarly to that. 
I think what is going to be different on these homes is the bond amount because nobody knows at this point how much infrastructure cost has gone into these homes. This home here looks virtually complete. Yeah, the flooring is in on this home. It's hard to see the flooring, but it looks like it's a vinyl plank or something like that in that kitchen and dining area. Here you go is, that's a bedroom that's carpet in there. You got a sliding pocket door on the, looks like uh, the bathroom. The last update video I did, I showed you what the models, or I explained what model homes these are. And I hope you uh, enjoy those videos. I will leave the link to the most recent update video in the description of this video. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. And these, some of these homes are overlooking the championship, the Hacienda Hills Championship Golf Course. This home has a swimming pool. This will be priced higher than a normal Winslow model. That's a Winslow model home with a swimming pool. That most likely will cost more than the 550000 Swimming pools are expensive in Florida friends just so you know there you have it have a great day everybody i will keep you updated until these homes are sold i will do update videos for you thanks for liking thanks for subscribing have a great week everyone take care